Hello everyone, hope you are loading well. So in this video, we'll discuss the third problem of lead code weekly contest 359. Uh, a medium one, but uh, yeah, this, this involves some little bit of modification to the, you know, generic solutions that we write. So we'll discuss that, right? The problem name is maximum, maximize the profit as a salesman, as the salesman, okay? So you are given an integer n representing the number of houses on a number line numbered from 0 to n minus 1, right? Additionally, you are given a 2D integer array offers where offers of i equals to start of i, end of i and gold of i indicating that the ith buyer wants to buy all the houses from start of i to end of i for gold of i. Okay, for this much amount of gold. Okay, and now as a salesman, your goal is to maximize your earning by, by, by basically selecting and selling the houses to buyers, right? Return the max amount of gold you can earn. Note that different buyers can't buy the same house and some houses may remain unsold. Okay. So simple. It says that you have some houses, right? Like n equals to five. So I have houses from zero to four. Okay. These are some of the offers that are there. So this says that starting from house number zero to house number zero, right? The first buyer wants to uh, buy the house from zero to zero and he will pay uh, one gold. Okay. One amount of gold. Similarly, the second offer is that okay uh, another buyer wants to buy the houses from index number zero to index number two remember index here is basically zero to four like these are some houses on a number line so house number zero one and two and he will pay a gold of two right uh, similarly the third buyer wants to buy house number one house number two and house number three uh, and will be paying an amount of two right remember they will buy all the houses here right and a house cannot be sold to multiple people right so we see that the answer here is three because uh, what could be a possible way? So a possible way here could be just say this, sell, take this offer and take this offer. Okay. So you sold, sell the first house to buyer one and you get one amount of gold and then sell house number one, two and three to the third buyer. I mean the third offer, right? You get two amount of gold, total amount of gold that you get is three, right? Uh, similarly, if we talk about this guy, okay, I mean, uh, this one. So again, I have houses from zero to four. So we can see we can see it's it's very much obvious right we will will take this offer right so zero one two three four so from zero to two that means zero one two three four this this and this houses are sold for 10 units of money now just see i do not have an offer such that i can sell house number three and four so i'll not sell them right they remain unsold that's not an issue but ultimately the maximum amount of money that we can earn is 10 right uh, these are the constraints the number of houses that you can have is this the number of offers you can have is this right and yeah basic stuff right so seeing this problem right seeing the seeing this problem for the first time uh, obviously you'll, you'll be thinking that okay uh, we, we go to a greedy approach we pick up the guy which which has the you know uh, max amount of gold we pick up that offer but obviously that will not work here right that will not work here i'll show you why greedy will not work here first okay so suppose the maximum amount of gold that i can get is 10 okay i can get is 10 this these are the houses just for simplicity i'm making this diagram right these are the houses so there is an offer where if you sell these houses you get nine units of money there is an offer which says that if you sell these houses you get nine units of money and there is an offer which says that you sell these houses and you get 10 units of money, right? So if you take a greedy approach, what will happen? You'll say that, okay, this is the maximum amount of money I get. First, I'll take this offer. Now, the moment you take this offer, you cannot, you can neither take this one nor this one. However, if you leave this offer, you'll be able to take this offer as well. Like, I mean, these both offers. So the total amount of money you'll earn is 18, right? So that's why greedy is not going to work here, right? I've just shown you a very basic test case why it will not work here, right? Now, if greedy doesn't work here, what's the brute force solution? Consider every option, right? Consider every option that, okay, these are the offers. I'll take this offer, I'll reject this offer. I'll take this offer, I'll reject this offer, right? Now, this is what the core logic here is, right? But I cannot consider all the possibilities, right? I cannot do that because uh, this will generate two raised to n subsets, right? So that is also something I cannot do. So what I can do here is I can use wherever wherever by the way you have two options right choose do not choose whenever you have these type of options you directly go to dynamic programming right because i'll be solving a bigger problem by solving the smaller units of those problems and basically if if i have some overlapping sub problems right i can just store it right so that is why we'll just use dynamic programming to solve this problem i i hope you you are you have some basic knowledge of dp right now 
I was saying that we need some modification here, right? So even when I submitted this code, the first, uh, my, my first submission got TLE and after that it got accepted. So the, the reason here was because of the constraints, right? What I was doing, um, I was basically, uh, you know, traversing or, or let me start from the beginning, right? Let me start from the beginning. Look, these are the houses, right? These are the houses. What we will do, we'll first sort them. We'll first sort them. Just see, we'll first sort them. Why we are sorting? We are sorting because, just see, uh, it says this is the starting house, this is the ending house, starting house, ending house. So let's sort them based on the, based on any criteria. Here what I have done, I've sorted them based on the starting number, right? Starting house. If two houses have the same starting number, I'll sort them based on ending houses, right? Now why I have done that is because when I, when I come to a particular house, right, to, to a particular offer, that should I accept it? Should I reject it? Right? So if I have the numbers in sorted format, right? So what I can do, suppose I take this offer. Now after taking this offer, uh, this offer says that, okay, I want to buy houses from one to five. Now, if this offer is taken, the next available house to buy is from six onwards, right? So why should we consider the other offers where they are trying to buy house number uh, one to five, right? One to five maybe it's two, three, whatever are the houses. So basically to just reject the, or rather to skip the offers, which have houses, which are already bought, we can just sort them to make, to simplify it. Right? So now if I take this offer, I know the next available house is six. I have all the, you know, offers after, after me in the sorted format, I can just do a binary search. I can find the first offer, right? Which is, which is which is uh, eligible that means which which buys a house which is greater than or equals to six un uh, six index right that's that is why we are doing it right so the first thing we sort it to to simplify it and then we call the function solve i pass the offers i pass zero all right zero means this is the first offer this is the current offer that you are considering right just see here offers current buyer now this is the base condition if current buyer becomes equals to offers or size that means uh, if, if if i am at a buyer uh, which does which is not offering anything right i mean i'm going out of bounds right so i just return zero uh, this is for storing the answer i'll come back to this now just see answer if i skip the current offer what happens i solve the same problem i pass the offers and i skip the current buy right i say that okay i'm rejecting the current offer okay go to offer plus one okay we are skipping it now comes the question if we are not skipping it so what happens i see what's the next available house what will be the next available house? I am taking the current offer means offers dot current buyer dot get one means that the current offer says that this is the last house I am buying. Okay. Or this is the ending end house I'll buy. So till this point, nothing is available. Suppose it says that I am buying houses till five. So from five plus one, right? Next available house will be from six. So that is why now what I'll do, I'll do a binary search from current buyer plus one. I mean, I'm at this offer from offer plus one to the end of the offer. I'll do a binary search that now, which is the next eligible offer, right? If you try to explore all the options, you'll get TLE. Uh, at least I got TLE, right? So that's why I, I added the binary search logic. So low equals to current buyer plus one, high equals to offers dot sides minus one. This is the binary search logic. You can move it to a different function as well. This, that was within the contest. So I just wrote it here itself. Low is less than equals to high. This is the midpoint. If the, if offers dot mid, dot get zero. That means if this offer mid offer is buying the first house that the mid offer is buying is greater than or equals to the next available house. That means yes, it's a valid offer. Okay. So whenever you add equal to right, you're, you're basically saying that, okay, I'm, I'm storing my answer in the low variable. Okay. You can do other types of binary searches as well. Right. So you move high equals to mid minus one. That means this is the offer that is valid. So all the offers after these will also be valid because this is sorted. So why not move left and explore any other offer which is valid and on the left hand side, right? Because I want to earn maximum number, maximum amount of money, right? So high equals to mid minus one. And if that offer is not valid, low equals to mid plus one, move to the right side. This is the binary search logic. After this, what happens? Low will have the, low will have the next offer which, which is valid. If I take the current offer, which is the next offer that is valid. So answer equals to math dot max so whatever answer you have just computed so this answer is basically when you reject the offer now if you take the current offer you get some gold right what is that offers dot get current buyer dot get to plus solve the problem with offers and this low 
right now remember it's possible that uh, if i take the current offer i cannot take any other offer so that's why this base condition will take care of that right if the current buyer is greater than or equals to offers dot size uh, right so you just return zero because we are adding plus one here right so that that won't be an issue right and uh, yeah whatever answer we compute we we just add it in the dp array now you generally take um, an array here I've, I've just taken a map um, because as i told um, I, I was doing some sort of different uh, you know in the first go i was doing something else so uh, in that the dimensions were high so in, I, I was not able to take an array so i took a map um, and i did not modify it so yeah you can take a map as well basically you just store the answer right uh, for what you are storing the answer for the current buyer you can replace this whole thing with an array right you can create an array dp dp array also i have taken a map i have told you the i have told you the reason why i have taken it right this was there because if you have already computed the answer for this one just return it do not compute it again right so that's what so the, the the optimization that i was telling here is because of this doing a binary search if you explore all the options that okay even in invalid offers you are exploring then yes you can fail right um, i think my the first version of my code failed at near about 520 second test case or so or 530 something so 510 test cases were left so this is why it was failing and then optimization added and it worked right um so yeah that's that's how you solve this problem um I hope you learned something new from this video. Do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel as well. In case you have any queries related to the solution, please mention that in the comment section. I'll revert on each one of them. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.